Talking about New Year's Day food, yes. I'm going to put some black eyed peas in the Instapot. Mm -hmm. Makes it very quickly and our teenager is making collards, so that's going to be great. Yeah, and that's also one of those traditions that we do on New Year's. Exactly. So we wish in Florida. Good love. Yeah, yeah, but when it came to Georgia, that's totally what you do. Yeah, it's absolutely what you do and I'm excited for the food that I'm waiting for this afternoon, but it's one of those days where you want something that's hot when you right. wake up in the morning. Yeah, it's just comforting. Also just wishing good luck into the new year. Right now, here's a live look from Perry. The reason why you may want something warm, maybe those warm black eyed peas or even just a warm cup of coffee this morning is because it's a little gloomy outside thanks to all the fog in the area. Right now you can see the foggy conditions almost blurring out the corridor of I-75 near the National Fairgrounds. But at least we're sitting warm this morning. Temperatures in the mid 50s in Perry area wide, though the dense fog is blanketing central Georgia all the way up and down. Now places that may be east, especially if you're northeast of I-16, maybe a little bit less dense, but if you're out and about, please take your time. Use your low beams and watch out for other drivers and animals that may run onto the road. So because of all the dense fog, we're underneath the dense fog advisory until 11 a.m. this morning is for visibility underneath a quarter mile. Again, just be super careful if you have to go out and about this morning. Now, if you're going outside, you won't need the heavy coat, maybe just a light jacket, just to thanks to all the moisture in the air just makes it feel a little bit cooler temperatures though in the mid 50s 55 now in Macon 54 in Cochrane 54 in Montezuma 58 in Butler and 56 in Roberta area wide a little bit cooler as you head north 51 in Monticello but warm in the south we're seeing some low 60s already in Cordial and Rochelle now throughout the day today we'll warm up the clouds will also break apart too we may see a sprinkle here today but we're going to say mainly dry by the time you're heading out a lot of people going to church this morning and we'll be in the upper 50s, low 60s by the time you're making your way uh, to church. By the afternoon, though, we're already seeing some mid 60s thanks to that cloud cover just falling apart. By the afternoon, a beautiful day. High temperatures will top out into the upper 60s, low 70s, and then we're just going to have another gorgeous night. So through tonight, we may see a little bit more fog roll in again, but clouds roll in tomorrow as well. We're going to see temperatures a little bit warmer than today in the uh, mid to mid 70s across the area. A sprinkler two can't be ruled out tomorrow as well. But again, most of us will stay mainly dry. It's all ahead of our cold front. It's going to bring a widespread chance for rain into late Tuesday through Wednesday. So let's time that out together. Tuesday morning overcast guys still in those mid uh, to upper 50s, low 60s possible as well as sprinkled by the afternoon. But the main event doesn't arrive until the commute home. So make sure you're going to be taking your time being weather aware as you're commuting from work on Tuesday evening. This is six o'clock. Notice the heaviest rain already in parts of our northwestern counties. We could see some heavy downpours, some lightning, gusty winds are not out of the question. Now, could one of these storms become strong to severe? It's a possibility right now. The confidence is low, but we'll make sure that we keep you updated on air and online when the weather service lets us know more. Now, the rain chances will stick around through Wednesday, they'll pretty much be scattered in nature. And then by Thursday, we're clearing out to really mostly sunny skies, but it comes with a cost. The cold front is going to be strong. So temperatures dropping from the 70s on Wednesday to the mid 50s on Friday.